In the battle against COVID-19, most of the world has turned to vaccines as the main line of defense. Still, a number of doctors and hospitals are looking for other options that could potentially play a role in defeating this global pandemic. In the battle to defeat COVID-19, a number of treatments have seen success, such as Regeneron and Remdesivir. The drug, ivermectin, also continues to generate interest. And while the FDA and other organizations advised against it, one Israeli doctor is reporting positive results in a clinical trial. Professor Eli Schwartz is with the Sheba Medical Center in Israel, considered one of the world's top hospitals. For decades, Professor Schwartz has traveled the world fighting outbreaks like dengue fever and Ebola. He also began the Travel Medicine and Tropical Disease Institute at Sheba. At the beginning of the pandemic and months before any vaccine, Israel's Defense Ministry assigned Schwartz to find a medical solution for COVID-19. And since ivermectin is one of the drugs that we are using in daily life in the Tropical Institute, I knew it, I know the safety profile of it. And since there were some hints of in vitro studies which showed their efficacy against, specifically even against COVID-19, we decided to go for it. That meant putting the drug through a clinical trial that lasted 10 months. So our study, which was done here, it's a randomized controlled trial, double blind. It's really, I would say, this is the best method that you are doing studies. And our conclusion is that it has antiviral activities. From his international experience in the field, Schwartz knew ivermectin targeted parasites. Since its development in 1987, nearly 4 billion doses with little side effects and at low cost have protected millions of people from insidious parasitical diseases like river blindness and elephantiasis. That success won its developers the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2015. Schwartz's study made headlines in Israel when his trial showed ivermectin to also be antiviral. So this is the first drug to show antiviral activity. And then I think there's a good reason to continue with a much more thorough investigation to see, for example, whether people who are at high risk may not deteriorate to be hospitalized, to be mechanical ventilated or to death. Schwartz's clinical study found that by day four, 86% of his patients who took ivermectin recovered. By day six, 94% recovered. The bottom line is that ivermectin decreased faster the viral load and also sterilized the culture much better compared to the placebo. Schwartz explained to CBN News this means ivermectin killed the virus and his patients were non-infectious. Schwartz says this could save lives and reduce quarantines by days. It's a huge change in life. It's a huge change for the patient. It's a huge change for his family. And from the economical point of view, it's a dramatic change. You know, it's how much money you can save for the economy of the country if you can shorten the isolation time. But ivermectin is not accepted by the global health establishment. A major FDA concern is that a number of people have tried to self-medicate using a form of the drug intended for livestock. Don't do it. There's no evidence whatsoever that that works and it could potentially have toxicity, as you've just mentioned, with people who have gone to poison control centers because they've taken the drug at a ridiculous dose and wind up getting sick. The World Health Organization says WHO advises that ivermectin only be used to treat COVID-19 within clinical trials. The National Institutes of Health says ivermectin is not approved by the FDA for the treatment of any viral infection. Well-conducted clinical trials are needed. And for studies to be accepted by the broader medical community, it must be peer-reviewed and published in a medical journal. That's where Professor Schwartz hit a roadblock. Several journals turned him down, but one is currently reviewing his study. It's something really very odd. I mean, in my career, I published, I think, at least 300 papers and chapters. And I never had the story that I have now with the ivermectin. I think that there is kind of international campaign anti-ivermectin. Same that we have anti-vax, anti-vaxes, we have anti-ivermectin. I don't understand. Professor Schwartz says while many health agencies want better studies, 
No large-scale trials on ivermectin happened until Oxford University began one in June of this year. I mean, it took them 18 months from the beginning of the pandemic to try to do it. I mean, people dying all over the world and you have drug under your hand and you have to wait so long until you get any conduction of a good study. And now Merck, which developed ivermectin, and Pfizer are in a race to produce an oral antiviral drug for COVID that some believe is what ivermectin does already. In my view, the whole story of ivermectin is much beyond ivermectin. It's even beyond the corona. The problem is that we are in the arms of the pharma and the pharma looking for new drugs. And therefore, all old drugs, which might be with a good potential to use it for whatever you are looking for, there's no any parents to push for it. Professor Schwartz advocates the use of ivermectin, but also believes in the vaccine. Most of the world still vaccine is not available. So if we have a medication which can try to reduce the magnitude of the pandemic at the meantime, that's absolutely needed. But when, if I have to compare vaccine and ivermectin for prevention, no doubt the vaccine, this is the international uh, solution. Schwartz hopes more research will prove the drug can help fight this pandemic and that it will eventually be allowed to treat patients on a widespread basis and not just within clinical trials. <laughs>